No one wants your Jimmy. Work as a security guard in Seattle. Run across lots of crazy homeless people and swap stories when we get new guys or responders at our site. Find the job to be plenty of fun, but occasionally you run into one that won't go away. For me, it was this one guy who would come out to the benches at the edge of the property, pull out his dick, and play with it out in the open. We would call the cops, harass him, the whole nine yards. Yet he wouldn't stop. The benches are in this gardenish area, and in plain view of anyone in the area is a pole with two cameras. People, for whatever reason, seem to think the cameras are pointed at the street and not at them, so you often will catch people shooting up, having sex with their escort, sleeping, or in this case, jerking off. Cut to Christmas Day. I'm pulling a double to help out my co-workers and get some much-needed holiday pay. Was not in a good mood to have to be working on this day in general. Neither was anyone else, but we made a day out of seeing it as nothing was open, so we could have some downtime. I'm in our office, staring at our monitors, and eating lunch, and suddenly, I see Mr. Cocksmith roll up to do his usual beat and greet with the cameras. I seriously could not take this anymore, and my appetite disappeared. I had a co-worker take control of the monitors and I rolled up outside to deal with him. I decided that instead of coming down the steps or up to the street to greet him, I would go to the patio ledge above him where he could not see me or hear my steps. Typically when someone came near him, he would put his back, his black eyed pee away and smile and wave like nothing was going on. I lined up on the patio adjacent to where he was below and leaned over the ledge, able to see him going to town. Before he even had a moment to feel my presence, I yelled as hard as I could, HEY! IT'S CHRISTMAS, DIPSHIT! PUT IT THE FUCK AWAY! Halfway through saying it, he sprung off the bench and tried to stand up and look at me, but instead, he fell face forward with his dick and balls still in his hand to the cement. No doubt crushing his jewels in the landing. Watched him scramble to get up while holding his dick, put it away, touch his scraped cheek, and then dip off into the night. All of this was caught on camera, and we never saw the guy again. The subs and co-workers still love hearing that one, so I tend to tell it a lot. Aw oh, damn.